Who is number one right now? Jalen Green or Cade Cunningham? Let's get down and let's check out these two amazing basketball players. I personally think that no team could go wrong picking either one of these two players. So first we're going to start with Jalen Green. Jalen Green in this clip attacks the basket. He's able to stop with a fantastic footwork, ball fake, and of course shot. This is all set up when he attacks that basket, lands on both feet at the same exact time. This is super important because now he can set up with either foot as his pivot foot. Now, after that jump stop, he does a quick one-handed ball fake, which is absolutely old school amazing. He then pivots back around and takes that mid-range shot. When he takes this mid-range shot, check out his body straight up, not leaning when he's doing that fadeaway. Absolutely amazing. This is what you want to see with a top-level player. Something that I do really like with Jalen Green is his ability to shoot the ball, but also move off ball. Moving up from the wing to the point, because he was open, taking a quick freeze to be able to create space between himself and the defender, and then jacking a three-point shot. This is all set up because he goes down towards the wing, this is the wing, and then he cuts up towards the point when this screen and roll is happening on the other wing. Because this is important as his defender was starting to sneak down and cover the key for that roll. By him cutting from the wing up towards the point, this will allow him to get open. And now he could have taken that shot, however he pauses for a second. We'll go in real time, he pauses and then steps into his shot which then creates that space. Watch this. So when he receives it, he then pauses slightly and then he takes a step into his shot which then makes that defender move back. Now, we all know Jalen Green loves to attack the basket. However, here he's able to create that space because that defender took a step back and of course Jalen Green makes him pay with that three-point shot. Jalen Green also knows how to use a jab fake away from a screen to get a mid-range shot. This is super high level. He takes a quick jab towards that right side that moves that defender towards that side. We have a screen setting up on his left which then allows Jalen Green to have that space, uses that screen, pulls up with a quick two-footed jump shot. Watch this. Hops, gathers right foot, hops towards two feet so that he can be balanced, so that his momentum is not pulling him forward, and then he's able to go up straight for that shot, and of course makes that shot. Now something that sets Jalen Park from all the rest of the players is his ability to attack the basket and finish ridiculously strong. Now of course he does make this basket, however let's go back. When he attacks, he gets his body into who looks like Nico Mannion. Nico Mannion then goes flying and then he goes up for a quick up and under around that help side center and he's able to finish. Let's also remember that Jalen Green can fly. When he's attacking here, instead of going up for a dunk or having some fancy footwork, Euro steps around anybody, he just goes straight up, up and under and around and finger roll off the glass. Beautiful shot. He's also got a nice touch around the basket where he can finger roll when driving towards the basket, finishing with not just dunks, but nice soft layups as well that nobody can block. And let's also remember that Jalen Green can also pass the ball as well. And by the way, Kaminga is and should be one of the top draft picks also this year. Now while Cade Cunningham does use screen and rolls, he is more like a Luka Doncic who is able to use more footwork and handles to get open shots as we see here. Now here, in this clip, we don't even see Cade Cunningham take a dribble. He takes a quick shot fake with a quick jab, and then he's able to sky up for that three-point shot. Now, the reason why this worked so well is because on this jab, he got his defender to take a step back and get down onto his heels, and if you see that as your defender does that, then you can just go up for a shot and you should not even worry about getting blocked. By the way, Cade Cunningham is also a very good passer. In this clip here, he is here. He's able to draw that defender and set up a pass for his teammate. Now, what about attacking the basket for Cade Cunningham? Cade Cunningham also uses screens, screens highly effective. When he attacks that top foot after that screen, he's able to use footwork to be able to get that 
basket. This is something we don't see a ton of with Jalen Green is the footwork. Jalen Green is more of an athletic guard. However, when it comes to Cade Cunningham, we can really see that he puts time into gather on the right, left, right, and then he's able to go up. We're also able to see with Cade Cunningham his ability to post up smaller defenders. Here he was front-faced, he was able to grab that ball, and then he was able to use footwork when he goes and dribbles, push off, pushes off, goes right-left, and then he's able to go up with the contact. Now, that is fantastic footwork, fantastic player. I hope that this video has not just only given you an idea of who is the number one player, but also how you can also play better yourself. Personally, I believe that I would pick most likely Jalen Green as the number one spot. I think he would fit better. However, at the same time, Cade Cunningham has that footwork, so personally, if I was running a more athletic team, I would pick Jalen Green like that. However, if I was trying to set up a nice half-court set style team like the Dallas Mavericks, I would pick a Cade Cunningham. However, between the two players, I think they're both going to be all-stars, so let's just wait and see who goes number one in the draft.